Meine Damen und Herren, bienvenue tout le monde. Uh, herzlich willkommen. Uh, Dress Und oh, so zu siehst, Ladies and Gentlemen, a very warm welcome. This is a fantastic way for us to get out of a lockdown. For four months, we haven't been able to perform. This is our first recital, and uh, may I say, it uh, is quite a fantastic way to also join forces with my wife. And tonight, we also are very lucky that we have one of the highest, most esteemed pianists here in Denmark, Björn Johansson Tange. We just started tonight's performance with a little duet here by Jacques Hibert, and the performance will continue where my wife will play a solo piece, an image by Eugene Bolza. Please enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, I will now continue with a rather hopeless piece of music. And uh, I'll do so partially because most of my time as a student I was told that I was rather hopeless myself, so I thought this piece would suit me rather well. It is a piece composed by one of the most notorious uh, violin virtuosos, and I dare to say so because the violin virtuoso that most regard as the most notorious, Niccolo Paganini, in fact was rather afraid of this gentleman. I'm talking about the Austrian violin virtuoso, Wilhelm Ernst. And Ernst was one of the people who admired Paganini greatly. And it came to such a point that with his talent, Ernst would be able to go to one of Paganini's performances and without any notes or anything, listen off every single thing that Paganini he did. We are talking possibly of some of the first noted copyright infringements in world history. Listen to the way Ernst takes a melody so simple like this. The piece that I will play, The Last Rose of Summer, he takes a simple melody and still with respect to the melody, packs it and wraps it in lots of small circusry, which uh, I hope you will enjoy. At least I will try my best to do as well.
a rather hopeless piece for a hopeless violinist. But I will continue with something a little more relaxed in one way or another. Another big passion of mine is jazz. And I had the great privilege of having a dear friendship with one of the best jazz violinists this world has ever seen. I'm talking about the Danish, the Danish jazz violinist Sven Asmussen. And in an age of 98 years old, he passed on to me a arrangement he had done of his favorite tune, in one way or another, that tune that really made his, uh, sort of say, his, his little, um, well, uh, let's put it as it is, his most cherished encore, and everyone around the world knew him for this particular piece. It's June night, and today, the 1st of July, yes, we are 24 hours late, but I hope you will forgive us. We did everything we could to make it in time, so here with the last, very last bit of June atmosphere in a rare solo violin arrangement of June night by Sven Asmussen. Thank you. And now, while my dear wife and Beate will join me here uh, for the last piece of this half of the concert, I'll tell you a little bit about what we will play. We are going to play a piece, it's a little uh, sweet, you could say, of a serenade, a pastoral, and a scatter by a very interesting lady. Even though that the composer signed by Mel Bonis. Her real name was Melanie Bonis. And she is, in one way or another, regarded as the French Clara Schumann. Unfortunately, didn't have 
a too easy life herself. Of course, at the time she lived, it was very difficult to be appreciated as an artist when you were a female. Thank God this has changed. And also at the same time, due to a difficult blood life, a big uh, gathering of, of, of children, she had a, you know, quite, quite a few, um, it was not entirely easy all the time. Thank God we do have some material left from her hand and uh, I think we all agree that this is in particular one of the gemstones. Please enjoy.
So, we'll do a little intermission. Some of us need a glass of water. Uh, but to keep you all entertained, in the meantime, we have promised to answer a few questions which uh, will have appeared on a computer over here. So I'm just going to disappear. First, I'll hand the word to you, Dani. Maybe you can tell a little bit about why we are being live streamed to the Pier as well at the same time, and yeah, how we came to meet. Yes, of course. Hello. So I guess these are the first words that so far I say. So hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, for us, like Nicholas said, it's a very special occasion because for more than three and a half months, nearly four months, we haven't played recitals because of the COVID-19 crisis. All the concert have, concerts have been canceled. So for us, this is so special, but it's also extra special because it's been 
part of the Verbier Festival at Home concert. Um, Verbier Festival, the fe uh, amazing festival in Switzerland, is exactly where we met Nicholas and I six years ago. And um, so we are part of the Verbier Festival because both of us are, are alumni. Nicholas has been an alumni of the Academy for two years and I spent five summers at the Verbier Festival, uh, part of the symphony orchestra and chamber orchestra and I also taught the amateur musicians, chamber music and been um, part of the first ever program there which was called Reaching Out, which I absolutely loved and that was exactly the year when we met and we met uh, doing chamber music actually, it was really great. It was one of the evenings where musicians after a long day of master classes, classes and all the learning experience and concerts, they just get together for fun and it, it was just amazing. And apparently, well, I decided that even though it was raining and it, I was tired, I'll go and join that party because I was part of the reaching out team and I thought, you know, I've got to reach out. You know, it was my, I think, first or second day of that program. And so I came to that party and apparently during 20 years, I was the first flute player ever to come to that party. <laughs> so, of course, there was no music for flautists there. Um, so the suggestion was by someone to share a first violin stand and so they sat me next to Nicholas and um, so that's how we met we were playing together at chamber music I think it was Brahms quartet I think it was yeah yeah Brahms yeah. quartet we were first on first violin Upgraded to quartet. Yeah, oh yes it was so 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 much fun and um yes so and then ever since that day we've been together so it's been six years of absolute happiness yeah. Um, so, yeah, Verbier Festival is just such a special place for us. Um, so, it makes it extra special today, not just that it's our first recital in such a long time, but it's also because it's almost like being home. Yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> a fantastic really. opportunity to be back and, uh, yeah. and, and to play. And the, the first notes doesn't yeah. only happen from a very special place, which I'll mention a bit about in a moment, but it does reach out across the globe, but in particular to a place which is, which is very dear to us. Mm. I, I feel I should probably, and one of the questions which has appeared is in regards to where are we actually? And this is a wonderful question because we were actually supposed to have been outside today, but due to where we are, the, it's not always possible to follow the outdoor plans. And where we are right now is, I mean, it's my home. Uh, it is the Danish Isle of Moon. It's not so far from Copenhagen. This is where we have the White Cliffs. This is where we have most of the whole area covered in, in UNESCO protection. And uh, it's a fantastic place to grow up. I will be the first to sign on that. And even though that we couldn't be outside today, we managed last moment the fantastic crew of Moon Sessions who are making this happen in our, our com corporation today, managed to get the keys for the last bits of industrialization here on Moon. This is the old sugar factory, and this is where for many, many years, sugar beet, which was planted all over the island, was transported to here and converted into sugar. And uh, in these leftover buildings, we, we still have quite a fantastic bit of resonance. So we are we are very lucky that we have a chance to, to play here today. And another fantastic detail, this grand piano has arrived just from Italy. It came from Italy yesterday, and we are very grateful, I should say right away, the Pazzioli importer in Copenhagen, Mats and McGee, they helped us with organizing that we have a fantastic grand piano available for, for this performance. So it couldn't really be better. And this instrument will come very much at hand in a moment because first, what we start with in the second half is quite a bit of Danish music and Elena will tell you much more about it. And afterwards, I will get my hands into working with Brahms' final sonata, the sonata number three in D minor together with, with B8. But Danny, maybe 
Would you be ready to say a few words maybe about who is the composer that you will play together now with, with the eight? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Well, we are going to play for you some Andersen, Joachim Andersen. Um, probably only flute players would be familiar with him, but I hope more than flute players. He was a great Danish com uh, composer and an amazing flute player. Um, he spent some years in Russia playing in the orchestra there, and therefore his music has been really popular in Russia. And I grew up as a, as a child, because I'm, I'm from Russia, um, I grew up as a child on his studies, actually, so it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, he wrote so many studies, more than hundreds, hundreds of studies, and all of them are very demanding, but all of them are really like basically preparing a flute player for a career because they challenge you with all sorts of uh, difficulties that you have to come, you know, go through. And um, but the pieces that we will play for you today are some of the really gorgeous melodies that he he wrote. Um, it's so nice to be play uh, to be playing this music for you today here because Derrit and I are also working on this project in a few months' time. We're recording um, Anderson for Da Capo, so it's, it's a great preparation for that too. And the first piece that we will start uh, with uh, couldn't be more fantastic for this place. It says, Au bord de la mer, um, means on the shores of the sea. And since we're 20 meters away from the sea, we couldn't be more on the shore of the sea. Um, so we'll, we start with Joachim Mandelson's Opus 9. Hope you will enjoy.
now, the next pieces we are going to play, uh, again, all sung by Anderson, but this is going to be a different opus. This is opus number 24. And we are going to start with the chant pastoral, and then we're going to pacarol and finish off with a la mazurka. Hope you will enjoy.
Mine damer og herrer, nu har jeg talt engelsk det meste af aften, og øh, nu skal vi til at spille det sidste stykke musik, så jeg vil også gerne have, at de sidste ord bliver på mit modersmål. Og navnligt skal der gå en stor tak til øh, alle her lokalt, som har hjulpet til. Ikke mindst er der mange, der ser med derhjemme. Det er meget vigtigt med jeres støtte. Tusind tak, men der er til med også nogen, der er gået ned og set denne her koncert blive transmitteret til den lokale biograf. Yes, det er stort tak til biografen, at de har haft lyst til at give vores, hvad skal man sige, debut på den store sølvskærm. Det, det er jo vi meget været over. Vi føler, at Hollywood er bestemt indtil flere skridt tættere på, men øh, det har været fantastisk, at vi har forhåbentligvis at kunne give en, en, en stor oplevelse i virkelig stort format til med også. Nu spiller vi Brahms sidste sonate. Det er et særligt værk. Øhm, ud af de tre sonater, som Brahms han skrev for violin og klaver, så er det her uden tvivl en af dem, hvor der er mest patos på. Der er navnligt en anden sats, som er et, øh, jeg tror godt man kan sige, det er et hemmeligt kærlighedsbrev til den historie, vi alle sammen kender om den måde, Brahms følte over for Clara Schumann. Men igennem hele det her firesatsede værk, ja, så får man oplevet hver eneste øh, parametre af følelsesregisteret. Med tak for, at I alle sammen har set med, så spiller Birgit og jeg nu sidste sonate af Johan Sebastian Brahms. Johan Sebastian Brahms. Johannes Brahms. Johannes Brahms.
Tusind tak. Thank you all very much. Um, we would like to end as a trio, as we started. And um, even though we haven't had a physical audience to applaud us back into the stage, I will take the liberty <laughs> of inviting Elena back so we can, we can end the concert together. A great thank you to everyone who has been listening. We hope you all enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed being back doing what we love and what we live for. Tusind tak til alle, der har set med. Det har været en stor fornøjelse, selvom vi ikke har mærket jeres nærvær lige her. Så tror jeg godt, at alligevel for os, for os alle sammen, der vi, vi har kunnet mærke en lille atmosfærisk forstyrrelse, som uden tvivl kun har kunne være jer, ja, kære lyttere. Vi slutter nu af med Nocturne af komponisten Hans Bær. Thank you very much for the festival. <laughs> Verbia Festival, very, uh, thank you very much, Quentin Concert, thank you very much, Moon Sessions, 
And yeah. the yeah. Beyond Moon and <laughs> Fatsy Oli, Magic and Maggie. And thank you, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, shall we leave the stage? I guess we leave uh, this let's stage. Let's leave the stage. <laughs>